Hi everyone, we're telling the time to the half hour. This is your Wednesday lesson. Our learning intentions and success criteria are that we are learning to tell the time to the half hour on analog and digital clocks. We can use the terms o'clock and half past Describe the position of the hands on a clock and record hour and half hour time. Our time word wall has the words time, clock, analog, digital, hour, hand, minute hand, o'clock, half past. Hours and minutes. This is the hour hand. It is the shortest hand on the clock. This is the minute hand. It is longer than the hour hand. When the minute hand is pointing to six, it is showing a half hour. We call this time half past. On this clock, the hour hand is pointing halfway past the eight, or you could call it halfway between the eight and nine. The minute hand is pointing to the six. This clock is showing that the time is 8.30, or you could say half past eight. What time is it? It is seven o'clock. What time is it? Which clock shows two o'clock? So let's have a look. We need to find out our hand needs to be pointing to the two. Okay, so here's our hour hand here. It's pointing to the eight. So that can't be two o'clock. Our hour hand here is pointing to the three. So that can't be two o'clock. So it must be this one. That's right. The two, the hour hand is pointing to the two and the 12 is pointing to the, uh, sorry, the minute hand is pointing to the 12. Let's have a look. Well done everyone. Okay, what time is it? It is 10.30 or half past 10. Which clock shows half past four? Okay, so to be half past, we know that the minute hand, the longer hand, is going to be pointing to the six. Okay, let's have a look. So, oh. All of the minute hands are pointing to the six. Okay, I need a little bit more information than that. I need to know that my hour hand is going to be halfway between the four and the five. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, this one over here is pointing to halfway between the 12 and the one. So it's half past 12. Okay, this one, has not, is halfway between the nine and the 10. So this one is 9.30. Oh, so it must be this, la this very first one, actually. Let's have a look. Correct, 4.30. So our, four, our, uh, our hand is between the four and the five, which makes us know that it's 4.30. Today we are going to learn and practice how to write the times in words and digital times. See if you can match the words to the correct times on the clock. Okay, so we know that this is 4.30, we just had that. The time on the clock is, in words, 4.30, half past four. In digital time, it's 4.30 and 30 minutes past four. Okay, so these are all the ways that we can write our answers in words and numbers. So with this one, we need to draw a line to match the correct clock to the words and times below. So have a look at the different clocks and see if you can match them correctly by drawing a line. Again, draw a line to match the correct clock to the words and times below. See if you can have a go. 
draw a line to match the correct clock to the words and times below. Let's try this together. Write the times to match the clocks below in as many ways as you can. Okay, let's have a look. So we know that our hour hand is the short hand and it's between the one and the two. So it's going to be after one, so one something. All right. And then our minute hand, the longer hand, is pointing to the six. So when it's pointing to the six, it's half past. So our time is going to be 1.30 or half past. Now we need to write those times. So let's try digital time. 1.30 and written time half past one and one thirty. All right, let's try the other clock. All right, our hour hand is pointing to the one. So our, our hour is going to be one. And then we've got our 12. So 12 is our full hour. So it's on the clock, on the dot of o'clock. All right, so now we need to write these times. So it's one o'clock and one o'clock. Now it is your turn to try. Write the times to match the clocks below in as many ways as you can. Okay, let's try this together. Draw the hands on the clock to match the times below. So we've got 10 in digital time and 10 o'clock in words. All right, we know that 10 is our hour and we our hour hand is our smaller hand. So we have to put our 10 on the clock. Okay, now it's o'clock, so we have to put it on the hour. Let's have a look at our minute hand is our longer hand and is going to go directly up to the 12. All right, we have 10 o'clock on our clock. Let's try the second clock. 6.30, half past six. 6.30 in words and 30 minutes past six. Okay, so we know that it's half past. So we know that our minute hand is going to have to point to the six. Our hour hand is going to have to be between the six and the seven. So let's put our small hand, our hour hand, between the six and the seven. And now our minute hand, straight to our six, and it's our longer hand. And there you have 6.30. Now it is your turn. Draw the hands on the clocks to match the times below. Okay, so now you need to go and complete the time three Wednesday slides and activities that we've just gone through now. And then you need to go and complete the sheet time three Wednesday worksheet. Once you've done that, if you'd like to, you can choose one of the optional games and play a game about half hour time or you can watch a fun video on half hour time also. All right, well done everyone. I hope you enjoyed that, those activities and did well with them.